<laughs> well, welcome, 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 everybody, to the big podcast with Shaq. Uh, Shaquille, our boy, is back after two weeks. Look at him. He's fitted today. He's fitted up. Dancing. So happy. I'm so happy. Whoa, whoa, Spice. Whoa, whoa, so Spice. Happy. You see what I see? What, you, what do you, you see? You see what I see, Spice? What do you see? What? Well, first of all, she she doesn't need makeup. Let's just uh, She's one of the most beautiful people oh, on TV. She, yeah. She's not wearing makeup. Her yeah. hair is frizzy. And she got the camera really close to her head, so we can't see what's in the background. <laughs> Ah, who, who's in there? Hey, I'm in what's Miami, your name? bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Miami. Oh, you're in Miami. Ricardo, yes. Enrique. <laughs> <laughs> Amigo. Dios Dios la 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 la. Somebody in there. Huh? La Negra tiene tumbao. That is who I am. See, I yes, just did. Indeed. See, I was just playing. I just did that to take away from Spice because, see, he got all this San Francisco stuff on. This is a oh, lot. Go ahead, Shaquille. Spice. It's, the floor it's is yours, lot. Spice. Go ahead. Yeah, go right ahead, San Francisco <laughs> Giants fan, 19, Niners 12. game. We won 19 12, you know, bang, bang, Niner gang, man. You know, we out here, man. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people hating on me, man. Calling me saying I'm bandwagon. This is a team that drafted me, man. Spice, you ain't talked about him until two weeks ago, bro. You've been all bears down. That's why people talking about you a bandwagon, man. I'm I'm in Illinois, man, and you know I'm employed by the Chicago Bears. It don't matter. I live in Los Angeles, but I'm Chiefs all day. I rep my did, set. Did did the Chiefs draft you? <laughs> yes. No, they didn't. San Francisco 49ers drafted your boy. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. That's, that's Wait, all I'm what saying. Is I'm just showing Spice? love what is he doing? He's to people got that show love job. to me. I don't know what this guy's doing, man. <laughs> Pepsi Pepsi just came out with a new soda. It's called Starry. This thing is fire right here, boy. I'm telling Why you. are you fire? drinking it like that, though? That's the, um, that's Shaquille, the honestly, you know I'm always on your side, but I will have to say this. You're going to have to take it from him today. You're going to have to take it from him today because you guys had a bet. I hate to say this. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> no, say it. I was getting ready to say, I'm, I may be done with the Cowboys. But actually, no, I'm not. You know what? No, I take it back. Mm. I take it back. Cause we got we got room. I, Come on I know. On. No, no. I know exactly what Dak is going through. Okay. And what do you think he's going through right now? When you're the guy, you're always expected to win. I can remember yeah. in, in, like, early, not Orlando. I wasn't ready then. Let's say LA when I first got to LA. You expect it to win every year. And we get swept. Mm-hmm. On the way out, I would see the faces of the fans. It'll be the ones that are very disappointed. And it'll be the ones, man, Shaq, you ain't shit. Like that that face. Mm-hmm. I understand what you're going through. And for four years in a row, I went through that. Getting swept by Utah, getting swept by the Spurs, but I see it. I feel it. I read it. I hear it. So He's in a tough position. When you play for America's team, you always expect it to win. You always expect it to play at a high level. And I see all the dash bashing. And I was getting ready to bash on him, but again, you know, I'm I'm in the I'm at the age of my life. I don't like being a hypocrite. I was getting ready to get getting ready to get up here and say, I'm done with the Cowboys. But for all the people that stuck by me and stayed with me after I failed so many times, I'm with the Cowboys forever. So go on, Spice. Ooh. Do what you got to do. Say what you got to say. I ain't going nowhere. Well, the Cowboys may not be with him, Shaquille, because the, even the team put out a tweet dissing him. This is from the Cowboys Twitter, their official Twitter account. And they said Dak Prescott gave away the ball twice in the narrow loss to the 49ers in a matchup the Cowboys had a chance to win if they didn't, again, generate self-inflicted wounds. So when you read between the lines there, they're saying, Dak, this was your fault. The team. And it's not. It wasn't all Dak's fault, all right? He threw two interceptions. That's two plays. You know what I'm saying? Like Even, the def- even his defensive players were coming out saying that the, the, the offense ran out of gas. Fam. Listen, when you're the guy, you, 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 have to, you have to take all those comments. From your own people? Like, I've, I've always, like, criticism is criticism. But before I get Shannon Sharp, before I start going crazy, I have to see if there's some yeah. truth in the criticism. Man threw two interceptions. Mm-hmm. Like if, if I'm if I'm him, I did. Okay, Shaq, what what what's a what's a good game for you? Forty points. Me? For, forty. Yeah, and, forty points. 40 and fifteen. Yeah, forty fifteen, and we win. Okay, that I'm saying that win. that'll be enough to get you to win, right? 
Yeah, a bad game will be 35, and I miss 13 free throws. Let, let, let's just but say Col- I go Kobe three. Kobe has to have a good game, too. Oh, uh, not really. He, Come on, Kobe, man. But, no, he – well, listen, Kobe, Kobe going to do what he does. But remember – Fish got to have a good game. No, but remember, I, I lead the league history-wise in field goal percentages. Right, so six out of ten, seven out of ten. I got to have those type of games, and on a free throw line, I got to lose at least shoot sixty, seventy. Like it was a game one time, I went three for twenty-one from the free throw line. That's eighteen points, guys. And let's just say you lose by five. That's eighteen points. So it's my fault. It's my fault. My fault. So now when I read it in the paper, can't get mad. I missed nineteen damn free throws. There's nothing to get mad about. So she killed. Did that really happen? Oh yeah. Oh. And I've been but listen, look, I've been but zero look, for ten. Answer me this. Yeah. Did the 49ers put 19 points up on Dak? No. Nope. Well, they put 19 points on the defense. You're they right about that. put 19 points up on the defense. So the defense But if you're guys, giving the ball away and they have short field, I mean, come on, Spicy, yes. are you a defensive player? Like, if, if, if the offense is giving the ball away. And, and he didn't throw two interceptions. He threw one because one got tipped, and then a the guy made a pass, even though it's the letter of the law says interception. Interception to me is when you throw it and it and – I'm it, just saying you can't just – Solely blame Dak. That's I'm not. I'm listen, I'm not. I'm, I'm not blaming Dak. I'm saying I know what it feels like to be the guy on America's mm-hmm. team, and I kind of feel for Dak. But let me ask you this though, Shaquille, you're not blaming Dak, but his own teammates seem to be blaming him. You didn't like it when your teammates talked about you or said things about you publicly. So if you are Dak, are you hot right now because your own teammates are? Coming out, your own team's Twitter yeah. is coming out and I'm hot. talking about you. I'm hot, and we're gonna handle that at the next team meeting, like I mm-hmm. always did. Mm-hmm. Man, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. And, then, <laughs> and then you know, my thing is, if you ain't play the perfect Steph Curry type game, don't talk about what what I do and what I didn't do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then if you didn't tell me to my face and you tell them, we got a problem because I just saw you. You was one of the first ones that said, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Pick your I'd head be, up, right. Yeah, I'd be more impressed if you cursed me out in the shower. They got a lot of time to tweet now. Nah. They you know got a lot of time yeah, to you tweet. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if you're going to, like, I just saw you. I just rode on the plane with you, just on the bus on it. We laughing, playing cards, whatever, whatever, talking about next year. Now you want to, now you want to get with Bill. Bill Schwartz and Bill Schwatsky and Brian Plasky and all these guys. Now you want oh. now next time I see you, it ain't gonna be no conversation. I'm gonna punch you right in your face. <laughs> oh boy. And it's happened. And it's happened many times. <laughs> this man just did a wardrobe change. I don't know if you saw it, but this man's oh, out I here didn't changing. See that. Oh, <laughs> this man wait, just, wait. this man's over here doing wait, wardrobe changes. What the hell did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell did you do that? <laughs> And act one, we're going to go into I'll, commercial. I'll let y'all talk about it, man. But, but Spice, huh? you're breaking the law now. You can't, you, 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 you can't have two teams. Why, why can't you? Can you have a mom and a no, dad? No, no. You can't, no. You can't have a mom and a dad? You can't, you can't love your mom and love your dad? Is what you're telling you me? You can't have two teams. That's, why, why that's can't unfair. you? That's unfair. Unfair fan to rule number Fan rule number 3,080. Uh-huh. You cannot have two teams, Spice. Where, where I got that have, too, Shaquille. Is, 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 that, is that biblical? You got to have a team that you played for and drafted you, or you got to have a team that you grew up with. I never played for the That's Cowboys. The I grew up law. with the Cowboys, and I'm Cowboys all day. Even so when, you even can't when my root nephew, for the team that paid you a lot no, of money. You can root, no, you can root for a player on the team. That's the bylaw. Remember? Odell Beckham, when he went one, y'all say, oh, you're not a Ram fan. I was like, you're right, I'm not a Ram fan. But I want Beckham and I want Donald, you know, Aaron Donald, those guys to win. I rooted for those guys. But you can't have two teams, Spice. Shaquille's right. I disagree with that. Shaquille's right. I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life, but my favorite player in the NFL was Drew Brees. But I couldn't root for the Saints and root for the Chiefs. I had to be a Chiefs fan, even though I love Drew Brees. I disagree with the both of you guys. The San Francisco 49ers drafted me. I played there four years, and then I went to Chicago. So I like both teams. Who pays you now? 
Uh-huh. The Bears pay me. Uh-huh. And re- uh-huh. The Bears Take pay the me. Hat off, bro. I, I do Take a, I do off. a TV show with the Chicago Bears, <laughs> but I could <laughs> not have been a Chicago Bear had it not been for the 49ers. Which, okay, but er, okay, but earlier earlier in our podcast history, you was Bears bad. Then when the Bears wasn't doing bears anything, down, you kind of got baby, off the Bears, bears down. and then you jumped on the other team. Well, no, our season okay, so, was over with. Uh, our season was okay, over with. So, uh, okay, so you know and what? Now the I'm 49ers off. season has just begun. All right, so since we can have two teams, go Bengals. Oh, well, well Joe Burrow, you can like Joe Burrow. That's your LSU no, guy. That's, no. that's, that's your boy. The Bengals is my new team. No, oh, that's boy. what you want to do all along. That's what you want to do no. all along. No, but since, you don't You don't even have, have a tie two with Cincinnati. Yes, I do. Joe Burrow's LSU. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, there's a LSU player on every team. <laughs> so you might as well be a fan of all 32 teams, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. It's an okay, LSU player point. on every team, dog. Uh, good, good point. Good Come point. on, man. I, I don't understand why everybody want to hate on me because I got two teams. I, I don't understand the yeah, hate. Because you're bandwagon, man. How am I bandwagon? This is the team that drafted me. When you was with your no. wife on vacation, you were seven-minute man. Now you back here and you bandwagon, man. So this I'm, is the team that drafted He got on a jersey, man. too. Yo, this, this, this man got jersey. layers on. This, look, this man look, got look, layers. Look, 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 this is the jersey that the 49ers gave me. Watch this. We can't see nothing but your behind. We didn't see yeah, no Yeah, that's all we saw was ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, ha, ha, okay. <laughs> It's the team that drafted me, baby. Ninety. He know he baby. got that done yeah. at Lids. He got that I, I mag. He, he got did. that he sure ironed did. on at Lids. See, they didn't give him that jersey. They, they gave not. me this, man. So the question is, Cowboy management, what do we do with mm-hmm. that? They gotta pay him. They paid him all that money. You got one more year till you have to figure out what you're gonna do. Okay, just because we have to pay him, do we have to play him? Yes, that's how it works. Do we look for another quarterback now? Future. You have one. The guy that stepped in for him played pretty darn good. So do we just go with him? Listen, it, it, bro, this is huh? like I'm getting vertigo from all your movement. Like, what are you- oh, I'm sorry. Spice. Huh? I, I opened up a new restaurant called SYAD. Have you heard of it? Nope. What's that? It's called sit your ass down and stop moving around with all that 49 again. <laughs> All right, you won. You beat me. So, so Spice, Spice. That's a good question that Shaquille asked, though. Oh God, <laughs> this man. It's it's cold in here, man. Dang. <laughs> it is cold, man. What y'all want me to do? So, uh, Sp- Spice, Spice. Yes, yes. I am a I am a uh, I am a man of my word. Uh, Get the information to Donzel about the barber. Okay. Cannot wait. He ar- he already has fly. it. Okay, and I will fly him down on an off day, okay. and I will let I'll let the, my my camera crew record me getting the man piece, and then I'll show up with the man piece. We got to be in the room though, Shaquille. That, that no, we no, can't. No, you I, can't. I no, we, I will. I will no. fly out. We I have, have an award winning film crew. It doesn't no, matter. We have award, to be in the no, room. But, We're a team. Listen, you, I will. You, fly we win as a team. We that, lose Michelle. as a team. We got to be in the room. My law is my film crew is going to film me right here in this chair watching the man put the man piece on. And then when we do the show, we will show the footage. Y'all not coming out? No. And I will yes, keep it are. on for two weeks. But you don't get to make that decision. You lost the okay. bet. Right, well, I'm not doing it then. I am not doing it. I am not following <laughs> your laws. I only follow my own laws. If he dies, he dies. Drago 4. Rocky. What, what was you saying we should bet, Michelle? I, no, we already I said bet. The man should... piece. No, Michelle yeah. be having the worst bets known to man. Oh, yeah, she does. I, I don't said know Spice where she be getting get this waxed stuff from. If he lost, he should get his chest waxed. <laughs> or he should get the cowboy star cut into his fade. That was what I said. That was, that was actually a good one. That was a good I'm one. I'm going to get the man piece. So, Spice, get it to Donzel. Donzel going to call me and on, on one of my Donzel days before I work. already got we're it. Gonna, we, we're going to put it on there. I'm glad you we said need his to name do right it. this We time. need to see it live. It needs to start when no. we start the podcast and end when we end the podcast so we can see <laughs> the before <laughs> and the after. That is right, my okay, so you know, I'm, I'm there. making an executive there. decision, Shaquille. I'm there. Okay. I, I, I'll tell you what. I mm-hmm. will let him do it while we're filming the podcast, but you two can't be here. This is my final offer. You'll take it or you leave it. 
I'm not negotiating no more. No, 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 no. No, I don't want you in the room. So I will let the (laughs) guy pause. I will let the guy go behind me, pause. (laughs) I I will let the the person put it on right here. (laughs) You just got it, bro. Yeah, I'll swing now, man. (laughs) Swing the ring, let's go. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah, while we're uh, filming, I will let him put the piece on me. And then we. <laughs> oh! That is made even worse. You know what I mean, America? <laughs> Say it again, Chuck. Jeez. You Say it again, put Chuck. That piece yeah. on him. <laughs> Dang. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I have one question, though. Spice for you. How do they not fire the kicker? How does that man step back on a field? I was surprised to see him there. Ever. For real. How I was does surprised he step back on the field? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then Jerry you know, walks out to talk. Hypocrites. What do you the mean? The man missed four field goals in a row. So you're going to be. Now, see, I would never allow that. That's what do you mean? Okay. Allow what? You would never that's allow what? That, that's my point. You're going to say something about me for missing nine free throws? What about the. Five wide open shots you missed when I got four guys on me and I kick it out. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're going to talk, make sure your game is perfect. Like, all the no, other parts of my game You got one job as a that. kicker. But hold one on. And Dak job. got one job, too. So you can't be mad at the kicker. No, he got a bunch of jobs. Dak got see? a bunch of jobs. That's different. See? That's way I'm different. I'm just saying, that's, 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 like the that. error, that, that's the error we come from, man. If you miss the extra point. We don't expect to see you on the team the next week. Right. You gone. Right. I can't do that's, that. That's how it that's usually unfair. go. That's unfair. That's how it usually go, though. That's, that's all what I'm saying. saying. You it missed is. four in a row. It is. Because if you ask anybody else to kick a field goal, they wouldn't be able to do it. It's a hard exactly. job. And, Leave and that matter. It's, it's like shooting free throws, right? Like, yeah. you know, yeah. it looks the, so easy, but it's, yet it's so hard to do. This is how I always looked at it. The main guy. Don't step up like you're supposed to. We're not going to be in that position anyway. If we lose by five and I miss 13 free throws, you can't make six free throws, Shaq? I know I missed three threes, and I know I missed a layup and all that, but you, Mr. $100 million man, Mr. Man, so stay off the kicker. It ain't his fault because as the main guy, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, none of that matters. We need that same energy for Dak, though. Well, you actually empathized with him. You said, I know how he feels. I don't know how I feel, but, you know, when you Spice. want all the money, demand all the money. Oh, this dude. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what, what happened? Where'd you go? <laughs> Lids. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Lids, San Francisco they had a 49ers. 50% off sale. They, they, yeah, they, 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 had send, had they send me a line. lot of gear because I played for them. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an alumni. I'll tell you what, I guarantee you. He ain't got nothing else to say San Francisco on. I guarantee nothing. you, he ran out. He got he everything out. on. Everything oh, yeah. on right no, now. He, oh, no, he ran out. <laughs> <laughs> this man went and got another jacket. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> well, wait, it's we knew he had in a closet house, full of stuff. Shaquille, he comes out with an outfit <laughs> yeah. in two minutes every it's time cold, he it's cold in his so cold in this house. It's so cold in this house. It's so cold in the D. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, uh, well, I do know where it's cold right now, and it's it's cold down south uh, at Bethune-Cookman University, Shaquille. Oh, my dog. My yes. Dog. I turned on Roland Martin the other day, and, and who do I see? Roe Parrish and Ed Reed. Yeah, Ro, man. Um, Ed, Ed's going through it. I know Ed's your guy. Yes. Um, both of you guys, he, he's your guy. What the heck is happening? So I, I'm aligned with both, with Bethune Cooking University. Because your mother Ed. got her degree from there, correct? Yes. So I'm going yeah. to be as professional as I can. Mm-hmm. I'm not the one to bash. I'm not the one to judge, but I am the one that when you say you need something done, I will step up and do it. Ed reached out to me and he didn't, he saw some things he didn't like. Not going to repeat 
what he saw because I'm sure he already said it. It's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of HBCUs that go through this. Mm-hmm. So now I wanted to help, but I'm the type of guy that when I help, I don't want to be bothered with politics. If you say we need new facilities, I'm educated enough to know how to get that done. I don't want to hear, oh, just write me the check. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear we got to go through this. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear the facility is going to cost a million dollars. Boom. Okay. Let me handle it. Let my people handle it. We get it done. So everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of miscommunication. It was a lot of this. And there's a lot of that. And as a result, they didn't hire Ed, but he tried, and we were going to try. Out of respect for my mother, out of respect for Dr. Glenn, out of respect for Ed, I was looking into it. No commitments were made because by the time I wanted to receive the information that I was looking for, the negative stuff had already happened. But Ed reached out to me. My mom's been doing stuff down there ever since she attended it. So I owe Bethune Cookman that. And I wanted to repay it for her, for the kids out there, and for Ed at the same time. I was just waiting for information. So I'm not going to say, oh, I was going to do this and do that, because I don't know what I was going to do. I was going to do something. Let, let me just go and say that. But I was just so waiting for information. So that's not false, though. I mean, you you were lined yeah. up. You had, you had told Ed, yes. I will help you. Yes. yes. Got it. Got it. Are you disappointed that that they let him go? Yeah, because uh, we could have started to make a difference. Hmm. We really could have. And again, with me, you just tell me what you need. And I got friends. I got friends of the family. I got foundation. We could uh, we could definitely start to get it work. But in a perfect world, I don't want no interruptions. Just tell me what you need done and leave me alone. And then say, okay, Shaq, you said you're going to do it. Do it. It didn't challenge me to get it done. Is this one step forward and two step back? Yeah. See, I don't know all the stuff that went down, and I don't want to get involved. As I told you, my mother went there, and she's highly respected, and I don't want it to be the old Lucille's son. No. I'm not talking just about Bethune-Cookman. I'm talking about HBCUs in general, because it seems like for the past few years that that Dion and what he was doing at Jackson State was really shining a really positive light on the HBCU experience, right? And it was making people look twice, athletes, other students, those type of things. And then you have something like this, and it feels like now the chatter I hear is we're our own worst enemy. I think the difference, though, Nichelle, was that Dion was already hired. Yeah. And then he started to do all these things. So was, Ed wasn't was Ed at, already hired? No, no, not officially. So he was already huh. going to work before it became official. And huh. then I guess when all of that stuff came out, when he went on Instagram Live and all of that, maybe that's when the problems started to to come. Yeah, about. they were they were uh, upset about the rant. Yeah. Highly yeah, upset. I mean, you can understand that, right? You can understand yes. that. Yeah, business-wise, yeah. yeah. See, like, yeah. see, like me, I'm the type, if I have a problem, I'm coming directly to you. I'm not going to blame the whole entity, and I'm not going to embarrass mm-hmm. the entity. Like, mm-hmm. that's, just, that's just, you know, unprofessional. Hopefully he gets a job somewhere, and I would like to, I would like to, to uh, you know, help. It's all about helping People make change, you know, doing the right thing. And I got a lot of friends. I got a lot of corporations that that are willing. They, they don't know how to get things done. And I'm the one to, you know, help them, help them and show them. Well, I hope that can happen. I would have loved to have done that for Ed and my mom. You yeah. know how I feel about my mama. So, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I do a lot of things. I accomplish a lot of things. But nothing touches me more than seeing her say, I love you and I'm proud of you. Because y'all don't know this, but from 2 to 18, I put that woman through hell. Not even 18, 15. Mm-hmm. I was bad. I was a, I was a medium-level juvenile delinquent. And never got into the gun play and all, but everything else, I, I did it. Knives, fights, not gangs, but, you know, hanging out with the boys, just doing a lot of crazy, almost getting her, like, did a lot of crazy stuff. And I could see all the size on her face when I come home and then, 
my dad hit me with a two piece one time and it shook my brain. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start doing right. And then, mm-hmm. you know, I can remember when I had my first little article and the smile on her face. I'm like, man, she loves me. Made you feel some kind of way. Yeah, it'd be times I come home and she wouldn't even look at me. She'd be, Ugh. again, you got another F. So I was like, so now when I just see her and she go, baby, I'm proud of you, that just, even though I'm 50, I just feel like a little baby. I'm like, so whatever I could do to Dang, make that woman smile, yeah, yeah, I'm old. Ten, ten summers left. Dang. Oh, boy. Ten summers <laughs> left. Why'd you have to do that, Spice? I, man, I just, I wasn't expecting him to say 50. Goodness gracious. Yeah, 50, he's though. 50. Dang. But when he's with, when he's with Miss Lucille, he's five. So, and that's very, very sweet. Let's speak of some more drama. Because there's drama going on in Hollywood, and I'm not talking about the Oscar nominations that just were um, put out this morning. I'm talking about Shaquille, your Lakers. Um, apparently, breaking news, there was a big trade made. What do you think about it? It was. Who? Cool. The Lakers, <laughs> they got, I can't even pronounce his name. Hachimura, I know is his last name, but, but they traded Hachimura. for him. Um, and they got some second round draft picks. They gave away some second round draft picks. Uh, and a bunch of like different moving parts. Um, and he's coming to the Lakers. Is that a good piece for them? I don't know who the f- that is. <laughs> I don't. Who the f- is that? Excuse my French. Like, come on, Rob. Like, we're trying to win championships here. We know. Who, who is that? No, seriously. <laughs> well, um, show me a picture of uh, who he is. I don't. Who, well, who is he? he's a good. He- Half Japanese, half black, I believe. He can, he can shoot that thing. Man, That's forget what they're all saying. that. Can he play? <laughs> yes, he can play. <laughs> I, he can play. I, 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 if they're giving up all of that, him. he got to be able to play. I, I don't. I ain't never heard of him. I mean, you know, we gave up Kendrick Nunn. They weren't really doing nothing. But like this, listen, I'm going to get on my spice thing right now. My Lakers, mm-hmm. we all about winning them championships. So if it ain't no piece mm-hmm. that can win the championship, I don't want to see it. Or, I don't even know who that is. Want to impress me? It should have said Bradley Beal. You want to impress me? Like, so, okay. hey, come on, Rob. Okay. That's all I got. Okay. So I don't right. even know the f that is. And, and, and that's Well, that's kind of what Dame home. Lillard said to Pat Beck. I don't even know who the blank you are. <laughs> that's nah, what he said. He called, he called him Flip from above the rim. He said he did. Rui. He said it's Flip. Rui Hashimura. Flip from above the rim. <laughs> Rui. Oh, man, it's a damn shame what they did to Flip. <laughs> Rui. I need, to, uh, I, need to teach, I need to teach Rui how to do it. How to do it. Rui, when you smile, show your teeth. Don't, don't hook them. <laughs> what is that? You in Hollywood on, now, Rui. Rui. Give us a grin. <laughs> yeah, Rui's like... Rui, you got that. Look at you see that reverse. Yeah, Come look, on. No, you look at it? him. Look at that, Shaq. Learn how to smile, uh, Rui. Look at that. All next. Rui can play. Uh, okay, yeah, he he looks all right. Nice move. He can play. He can play. Yeah, but I ain't never heard of him. Okay. Well, well, what did you think when you saw the Pat Bev Dame uh Dame Dollar beef? I like it. Dame it, it okay. I like on it. which side? You know I like on it? which side? Because, Almost old school. Because because for us, when we when we talk like that, it means we're competing. Ego versus ego. Uh, I like to see it, especially when it's under control. I don't like to see the brawls and the fights and all that. But when you got two guys talking, you I'm, you too little. No, I ain't. You can't stop me. That's how I grew up. Pistons versus mm-hmm. Lakers. Pistons versus Celtics. You can't guard me. That's good ball. And then you know, at some point, somebody's going to get the last say. So, so when he did the the watch is broken. That's just mm-hmm. a ooh, man. ooh. That's like you know, y- y'all be going back and forth, and then somebody say something about there your mama. There he is right now. He's doing it right now. Ooh. Somebody say something about your mama right before the bell ring. You be like, ooh, you hear what he said about your mama? What you gonna do? But oh, at three o'clock, o'clock, I'm gonna whip his ass. Yeah, three, three o'clock. o'clock that was the golden so, hour, right there. This time, Pat Bev, because the Lakers had that comeback, he got the last say so in a ranking, you know, Jones and type. Well, not really, because Dame Dollar said he was flipped from above the rim. Oh damn! Wow. <laughs> he did. Wow! He tweeted it. Flip was played by Bernie Flip Mac. Was played by Bernie Mac. Oh, Bernie. Oh, Bernie okay. Mac. No, I thought he was talking about. Uh, I thought he was talking about uh, uh, Marlon Wayans. 
No, <laughs> no, no, just got a hell of a choke. But come on, yeah. dog, come on. <laughs> Flip, <laughs> he was Bernie Mac. It's a damn oh. shame what they did to Flip Shaquille. <laughs> oh no, no let I, me pull it up. Listen, I, I, I like seeing stuff like that. But Patrick Beverly is a, is a competitor. You know, Dame mm-hmm. Dollars one of the great. I, I, I like it. I really do like it. Well, your Lakers been John. They've been John, or your Laker fans have been John, because we didn't talk about what happened Friday night with your boy. They go flip. No, that's when he said that he flipped from above the ring. <laughs> that's flip, dog. <laughs> Shannon Sharp. <laughs> Shaquille, you got the floor, my man. Shannon, you know, we all love Unc, Uncle Shay Shay. Did he go too far as a spectator? I can't be a hypocrite. The answer is no, because I've because I've done this before. You have. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. As a spectator, a you've done that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He can't guard you. And then somebody start talking. And he bet, hey, I'm going through the same tone you're going through. What's happening? So mm-hmm. he's he's apologized. He understands. But when you're talking smack, you're supposed to turn the sensitivity button off. So let's just break it down. You telling me I'm too sh- small to guard LeBron. I'm going to be sensitive about that. So I'm going to say F you. So now mm-hmm. my sensitivity button is off. So when I say F you to you, your sensitivity button is off. F you back. Now it's, now it's all blown up. You're supposed to be able to talk smack and whatever comes back, you either laugh at it or you keep talking. That's what's, how the, what's the difference between what Shannon did and what Spike Lee does? What's what's the difference? Not much. Well, Spike no, no, hold on. No, I'm no. I'm I'm glad you brought that up. Spike Lee always has his sensitive button off. Because remember when he went at uh when he went at Reggie Miller, Reggie, Reggie Miller. Miller was saying a Reggie Miller was saying a whole bunch of stuff back and doing the choke sign. Spike never got up. He never That's said true. I'm gonna whoop you or that. So again, when you're when you're talking smack and somebody talk smack back, the sensitive the sensitivity button is either on or off. So a lot of times when I talk and you talk back, my button's off, but I mean on. But when my button's off and you say something's gonna, gonna, you know, strike a nerve, I'm coming for your head. So So when the rest of the team jump in, because then Ja jumped in and said, sit your S Y A D. And right. then he said, uh-uh. So then Ja's daddy jumps in it, and then Thor runs over and acts like he's about to jump <laughs> in it. And like is that too much? You're supposed to stick up for your teammate. It I happens. Know, no I, fight gonna look, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like, he shouldn't do this. I do it all the time. When I'm at games, I talk smack. And if you're a lesser player and you talk smack and you try to get personal, then I, oh, you're trying to get personal? Okay, meet me in the back. And I will go in the back and wait to see if you're really mm-hmm. about that. A lot of times they're not about it. Man, there wasn't no shit. fight right, going to cool. break I, out, though. Yeah, I'm like, you, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm here. What, what's that you were saying? Nah, man. All right, we good. Love you. Then I'm out. But, you know, if you bought it and I'm bought it, hey, let's well, see. Well, Dylan Brooks let's is still running his viral. mouth. He said Shannon was pedestrian, <laughs> um, and he called him a blogger. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he said, with a with a <laughs> with a black a regular tank top pedestrian on, with tucked, tucked in. in the tank top was, was tucked, tucked in, in and belted. <laughs> but uh, Shannon, I saw I saw his apology and he and, and he apologized yeah. like a man. So mm-hmm. I ain't got nothing to say about it. But did he go too and far? He started out Dylan Brooks too, man. He said you're a good player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like watching. Well, did he go too far? I mean, like, look, I'm I'm I'm. I've been a hypocrite for a long time in a lot of situations. I'm at a point now to where I don't have to be anymore. And I see a lot of negative stuff going on social media. I can't go down that path. I'm not going to be doing stuff just to get brownie points. Like, for example, we already got the number one podcast. I'm not going to be dogging people out just to get ratings. So I could easily say he shouldn't do it. He shouldn't do that. But I did it. And I still do it. If Sergeant Harrison heard somebody John with you at the game, would he jump in oh, it like coming. T. Morant did? Oh, he coming. He coming. Yeah? He coming to get him? I could tell a story now. <laughs> Yo, Shaquille, get him. Stop, man. Stop. <laughs> I could tell a story now. Remember Calvin the Hobbs? Mm-hmm. Yep. The, the, little, the little stickers they had on car? I get a call from a police captain one day. Man, I need you to come down. So I get there. 
This dude had the Calvin and Hobbes pissing symbol Mm -hmm. on a shack on his car. Mm. My father pulls the dude over and busts his window out. Dang. Busts it out. Get him, Sarge. Get him. Dad was trying trying to kill him, man. Man didn't press charge, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I get the call, and I'm like, and I'm like, what are you doing? Man, don't nobody disrespect my family like that. Because when I left in Orlando, he, he used to run my fan club. with a lot of hate mail. He used to show up at mm. people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> you going to do what? No, seriously. Cause like, I don't know why you li- write a threatening letter in Orlando and you leave your address. Him and his boys are, you say you're going to do what to my son? Oh, 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 no, no, no. Well, he, my son ain't here, but I'm here. So if you want to do something, bring it. Cause hey, Nichelle, any any person that calls Shaq while he on the court playing a game that's true. to speak to that's him? True. That's true. Yeah, he was, he up, up, yeah, he that's true. That's true. He's going to handle the whole That's true. That's true. But but the stuff that other people said to me, he said worse mm-hmm. stuff. Like, I can have 50 points, but if I miss 10 free throws, like he'll, and I'll call him, he'll say, mm-hmm. you should have had 60. It was never a great game, like, oh, you have 50, yeah, but you missed 10 free throws. 50 plus 10 is 60, and everybody's math class, you stupid mother <laughs> You don't know how to count. <laughs> Click. I'm like, damn. I'm not laughing yeah. at that. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> 50. What you laughing at? That is everybody's math class. <laughs> yeah. That's not <laughs> It is. 50 plus 10 is 60. Man, I would have been rolling because that stuff is funny, though. Your dad has some one-liners because I'd have been rolling. He did. No, he did. He did. (laughs) Um, Quick question, Shaquille. We know you have a new nickname, um, and that is Dark Nowitzki. Oh, first of all, that's not new. That's old. That's old. Oh, I didn't (laughs) know. You know, you know, know what's crazy about And, like, I always tell the the corporations that, that that I work with with. I always tell them this. Because they'd be coming up with these things. I'm like, you can't force viral. True. And all the people that try to force viral, it's a small percentage that can go viral. Spice can force viral. That's because he has his formula based on humor. We all like like humor. Mm-hmm. He's going to always go viral. I'm always go viral because my shit is funny. But a lot of times when I just say do some stuff that I don't expect to go anywhere, it goes viral. Dark and Whiskey is 30 years old. Is Dark and Whiskey is 30 years old. Yes, but I just made her say it the other day, and she was and she's like, I can't say it. I was like, I know you're white, but it's all good. You can say it. I'm not going to say it. I said, well, if you ain't saying it, I'm not doing the thing. I'm, do you think I'm, I'll walk up? He wants me to call him, right? and it just, it just blew up. Everybody's like, oh, man, that's funny. Dark and Whiskey is old. Well, can I ask you this? Did you know that Dirk Nowitzki was a huge fan of yours growing up? Yes, I did, because he you used to that. live in the— yeah, no, no, he told me. So he's from Würzburg. Würzburg is about 30 kilometers where I grew up in Germany. And like, you know, he told me that I, oh, I like Dirk. I like. Well, can I, can I have you look, just look at this real quick? I just want you to yes. look at something, an interview right. that he recently did. Oh, I, maybe so we don't have the video. Can you still recite all the lyrics from a Shaq rap song? I actually can. How, you can't. How, how, did, you know, how did you know that? <laughs> we, do, we do our homework. <laughs> So I was I was such a huge NBA fan, and then uh, I was a huge Shaq fan. I also loved his rap music. Uh, you know, the, the, you know, I got skills, man. You know, I got skills. That <laughs> song. And there, there were a few others. There was one with the Fushnickens that I loved. Uh, it, was, it was called "What's Up, Doc? Can We Rock?" And then at the end, he comes in. This is a bit embarrassing, but uh, there was a there was a time where I can his his entire spiel. I could rap that. Uh, I'm not sure I can still get the whole thing going, but it's like, I'm a hooper, hyper, protected by Viper. When I'm not a hooper, then you better decide. You better decide. Uh, you better make, you better make some funky decisions, because I'm going to be a Shaq knife and cut your position. You with precision. Forget Tony Dance, I'm the boss. When wow. it comes to money, I'm like Dick the Frost. Wow. And then, oh, I, I struggle over it, but that's, that was the, that was the one with the Not a Kutalena. Not a lot of money. I never saw that. You never saw that? No, send me that. How about that, huh? Dark Nowitzki and Dirk Nowitzki. Y'all need to collab on something, man. We should. We should. <laughs> That's dope. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. We're going to take a quick break oh, because okay. we got to get to that spicy. And well, he's got to well, do well, another well, outfit change. You wore that already. You lose the point. 
That's right. That's right. <laughs> We're going to go and come right back on the big podcast with Jack. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, on the big podcast with Shaq. Um, should we get right to that spicy or Shaquille, you you you? You good? Are you are you good with letting this Niners game? Yeah, go for it. We're all good friends and best friends. You know, you know, mm-hmm. I have a meat company, right? Yes, I do. Okay. I've, I've had Brisket. it before. I've I've had your yeah. I've had your your ground beef. Before. Oh please! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Oh man! Got her? No, but that's the <laughs> that's <laughs> fam. <laughs> So, no, listen. I, I, please, I, I, spare I really me, to, please spare me, Suede. Please spare me, Suede. Only. So look, I only, only, only did the meat company because of when I was growing up, Earl Campbell had a sausage line, right? <laughs> uh huh. My people will not let me sell Shaq sausage. <laughs> Man. I, I, listen, Earl Campbell. I'm telling you, Shaq. Uh, listen, I tell them all the time, Shaq sausage with <laughs> Shaq sausage with flood the market. And it, but look, but look, oh, I, Shaquille, this dude. So, so like I was, so like I was presenting this to my team, and they didn't like what I had to say. So I said, Shaq sausage would be the regular sausage, and on the West Coast where it's cold, I'll give them a small sausage. Oh, get the links. Because when it's cold. The little links. Yeah. No, get it? The little links. Like on yeah. the East Coast, right? <laughs> and on the West Coast where it's cold, right? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like that. What do you guys think about that idea? Shaq like sausage. A, let me, I'm not waiting. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not waiting. <laughs> Anything you say, fear. Fear. One, two, three, four, fear. <laughs> think about that. Because look, I got the burgers, I got the chuck brisket, I got the beef, I got everything. That's what I like. That chuck and brisket, that that combination with the burgers, them things are good. Them things are good for real. They will not let me do shack sausage for nothing. (laughs) Good. (laughs) Tell me. Spicy, go for it, my man. Okay. All right. Since there was a lot of hate going on Mm -hmm. today, I I, I figured we'd switch it up and, and do something about love. All right. Now, we we talked about your guy from LSU, Joe Burrow, earlier. Yeah. And uh, he's very successful on the field, but he's he's found a lot of success off the field with, mm. with the ladies. Oh, the, he has. The, the, okay. The ladies love He Joe went to Love Shack Burr. University? Okay. That, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm going to need Shaq Hill. Oh. You think your girl doesn't know anything about football? Ask her who the quarterback of the Bengals is. Joe Burrow. She probably knows what number he wears. Number nine. She might even know his QBR. 101.3. What kind of perfume he likes. No. What kind of underwear he wears. She's familiar with Joe Burrow. Yes, I am. She loves Joe Shiesty. Yes, I do. And there's nothing she'd like more than to see him win the Super Bowl. Correct. He has to be... It's a, it's a, it's a lot of ladies... That love Joe Shiesty, as they call him, man. So why Shaq, do they call him Joe Shiesty? I I don't know, man. I'm just hmm. I'm just here to to deliver the news. <laughs> we see. Shaq, we see. What, what 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 can he do? You know, because he's in a long term relationship already. But what can well, he do Joe? to kind of yeah? What what can he do to kind of thin the ladies off, man? If you will, from Love Shack Universe. Joe. Joe. Cancel your Instagram and make sure mm. mama don't look at it either. You gotta keep your house strong because if mama start to see that and then mama start to think you're playing around, it only goes downhill from there. So don't even look at the gram. Keep mama happy and make sure mama not on it either. Mm. Oh, go. so That's she it. can't be on the gram either? No, because if she starts oh. to look at that thing and get stuff in her head, because you know how women start thinking when they start talking to themselves and start. Start creating their own scenarios. Start talking to themselves. Nichelle, <laughs> Nichelle, I'm gonna have a question yeah. for you too. Oh boy. Okay. Oh lord. Okay. What? Okay. What? What advice can you give to his significant other on how to handle, you know, the pressures of, you know, being a man and all the ladies liking him? You want the PG version or the R version? I want the Nichelle version. I want the <laughs> Nichelle. Keep it real. This is spicy version. 
Well, the first thing that she's going to have to understand is that she is with a fella who um, belongs to, like, you got to share him, right? Okay. So you know that you know that chicks are going to hit on him. You know that you know that's coming. So you got to root yourself in it. You got to settle yourself in it and be a little tunnel vision. Doesn't mean that you can't get a little, you know, in your feelings sometimes, but you got to be tunnel vision. Now, if you want to get real real with it, you just got to put that thing on him wherever he's about to leave Ooh. and then, <laughs> okay. and then you ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> mm. Okay. Right before he leave, put it on him. Oh, yeah. Put it on him. I got something spicy. Let's do it. We ain't scared. Let's go. One of Nichelle's favorite players broke up with his girlfriend. Now he's demanding Ooh. his million-dollar ring back. That he is. Do you think that's wrong? Ben Simmons won't it back. You think he's being petty? I heard it was a million. They said 800000 Yeah. Right? yeah. I, heard it was I heard it was a million, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go on the record and say I wouldn't take it back. Spicy, what do you think? Would you want it back? If she was important enough for you to spend $1 million on that engagement ring, then she deserves that ring. However much it costs. If it costs you $400,000, a $1 million, and you got it to spend, and you felt that she was worth that, it's hers. And that's the nice version. And here go the real version. If you don't have to buy a million dollar damn ring. <laughs> And she break up with your dumb ass. She gets to keep it. Come on. Stop it. It's a gift. You gave a gift. gift. I mean, that's yeah, hers. You, listen, a million dollar ring, whenever you turn it, you better be every favorite actress I, I want to see. Turn it this way, you're going to be Rihanna. Turn it this way, you're going to be Holly Berry. For a million dollars, it better come with a lot of futuristic AR type features. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't even matter how much it costs. Fellas, you don't buy no million dollar ring. Stop it. Especially if you're not sure if it's going to work out. Thank you. But that's you don't the buy thing. No if you then why are you getting engaged? It's a gift. You gave it to her as a gift. So that's if I were her, gift. You don't I would pay not a right. For a ring. But it's not about what it costs. It's about what it is. For a million dollars, when I look in the ring, that <laughs> better have Netflix. Hulu, Amazon Prime. I want to be able to just sit there and watch and watch every channel for TNT, every game, World Nichelle. Cup, a million dollars for hell. Now, would you would you give it back, Michelle? Would you give it back? Would I give it back? Um, yes, I would. It depends on what happened with the breakup. No, it depends on what happened with the. What breakup. If, what if you broke it up? Well, it's a gift. I just look at it like it's a gift, y'all. I mean, you gave it to me as a gift. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you intentionally go into something wanting to have it broken up. Um, and if you gave me a gift, then that is mine. That's how I look at it. And I think that's also the letter of the law. Of if it's a proposal, it's a gift. And then listen, if you give me something worth that and you take me to court, I lost it. I lost it. It don't matter what it looked like, man. It's a million dollar ring, bro. She said she wasn't even expecting to get a letter or anything like that. And it sounded like she was about to give it back anyway. But now she might want to play hardball. I'd keep it on GP. If you send me a letter talking about, can you bring it back? Nope. I probably would never wear it again, but I'd keep that mug. No, I'd I would have it down. Why, why, why mm -hmm. would the letter make you change your mind? Because I think that's petty. Because you're trying to embarrass you mm -hmm. know what I would do? I would do a video like I'm looking at the ring over the toilet. And then as soon as it falls in the toilet, you hit the flush button and be like, here's your ring. <laughs> just watch it come out. I mean, and then you that's just a look at it like this. No. Part. That's not a the ring. Move on no. part. I, th I think that's low class, shady move. I, I, thought, I thought it was crass. I thought it was no, not cool. Not what cool. else, Spice? <laughs> All right. Yo, uh, former coach, uh, obviously, he not up on the slang. He not, he's never looked at the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's not, you know. I saw about. that. I saw that. <laughs> Stan Van Gundy, 90s NBA team, had just a trainer and a strength coach. They practiced more often and harder and played more back-to-backs. Teams now have huge medical performance staffs and value rest over practice. Yet injuries and games missed our way up. Something's not working. Kevin Durant says, Stan is spitting. And Stan is like, no, 
I'm I'm not criticizing players. I'm saying that we are getting something <laughs> wrong in how we prepare and train players. We can't do anything about injuries like yours. He fell on your leg, but all of these growing hamstring injuries, et cetera, shouldn't be happening as much as they are. And Kevin Durant is like, no, Stan, I agree with you. I'm saying you <laughs> spitting, like you you spitting facts. He ain't know nothing about the lingo, man. Yeah, what, what's up with Stan, man? You never... You never said any slang to, to Stan. What's going on, man? Stan is a very letter of the law, factual, statistical, knows his numbers type of guy. He's mm-hmm. like he'd quote the other team plays and he was real serious. Like, you know, man, I'm not serious until it's time to be serious. So he didn't always like my approach. And I understand. Nothing personal. I, I respect Stan, but. When it comes to professionalism, Stan is at the top of the list. Like, he was very straight to the point. And, you know, that's just how, how some people are. Like, I, I get straight to the point when it's time to get straight to the point. Like, I don't, I can't be serious all day. From 7 to 10.30, I'm going to kill your ass. After that, back to, you know, doing what I do. But he's, he was, Dan was very serious. He's, he was what, what, what I'd call a 90-10 guy. 90% serious, 10% humorous. Now, is there any, like, young person slang that y'all been confused about or something like that? Now, yeah, I remember cap. the, the yes. kids are yeah, saying cap. cap. Like, just say yeah. lie, man. Just say yeah, no, you lie. That's cap. No, I, I was somewhere one day and dude was like, that's cap. And I got a feeling like, what? I don't know when it, what it means and when you're supposed to use it. Yeah, that's cap. Yeah. yeah, y'all know I didn't know what city girls were. I, I had no clue. I didn't know anything about that. So I was just out here looking silly. Spicy, <laughs> did you know that you were beefing with a member of the TNT crew? I didn't know that. I had no idea. They basically did you how Shaquille just did Rui Hashimura. Who the F is that? It happened a couple <laughs> weeks ago on the show. Whatever. And I just didn't know if you saw, but I wanted you I to didn't. know that I you outside, but people and acting like they don't even know who you are. Did you, did you fire your other dude? Oh, Jamal, sit in. Oh, no. He was on a honeymoon with his wife. Oh, okay. Spice. That's a good person to be on a honeymoon with. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? Why? Uh, First of all, that was wrong. He was the Redneck Hawaii. River Arrow? He went on honeymoon. In Alabama? <laughs> in Florida? They got the Redneck River Arrow? I wouldn't know nothing about Panama uh, City. <laughs> Where'd he take his woman for a honeymoon? Hawaii, man. Who, who, who are we talking about? The guy spice. who does it. Is, spice. Uh, slice. Who does spice. it? Spice. 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 Yeah, yeah, Spice. Who's Spice? <laughs> Who's that? Oh. All right, man. Let's go. Yeah, please. <laughs> hey, Spice. This is going. Spice, nowhere, come on, man. man. Let's take that woman on a real vacation. <laughs> Who is Spice? And he took his woman on a honeymoon. Y'all been married for sixteen years, but she can't say y'all went on a honeymoon. Don't nobody he, he know. They go on a honeymoon. He did go on a honeymoon. <laughs> when you take your woman on another vacation, that's like a honeymoon. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> but th- thank you very much, Boo Boo. It was her birthday. We'll be right back on the big podcast. Yeah. Welcome back, Jeez. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> to the big podcast with Shaq. If if we're back, are we back? Spicy, this segment is a new segment. We have we've been doing this for two years, and we have never had Shaquille himself say, I want to create a segment. We don't have a name for it. We're just calling it the big to be named later because it's what Shaquille wants to do. And he was talking about it earlier. Everybody that's listening and watching us um, right now. Shaquille, every day, he loves to to just peruse the net. He finds the craziest videos, the funniest stuff. Spice and I get these videos every day. And so in his estimation, he wants to share them with y'all too. So we want to do a little segment where we find the funniest, most talkable videos of the week and we share them, right? And then you want it to kind of be, let's talk about it, Shaquille? Yeah, let's talk about it, yes. Let's talk about it. Well, you go first. So he going to try to make this so fun because he came up with it. But if it's wet, then it. let us This know. is the thing he oh, loves it's, most, it's, it's, Spice. It's, it's, first of all, it's not going to be whack. But, so go ahead. Just <laughs> roll with my first clip, please. You I purposely young lady didn't walking. watch this. No, but listen. You see a young lady walking. A guy right there yeah. walks by her. He doesn't say anything. And all of a sudden, you see this come out of nowhere. 
Oh my oh. gosh. Okay. So Did that hit her? First of all, yes. First of all, let me say I hope the lady's okay. Now let's get to the real deal. You didn't hear that rusty ass cart behind you? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, she got no you didn't hear that stop. rusty ass. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You didn't hear that Maybe rusty ass. Maybe she had AirPods in. No, no. She had no AirPods. <laughs> see? But hold on, hold on. It was it was somebody in like a little moped that had drove off I at don't first. Care. And then there was somebody else that you came. Didn't hear, you didn't hear that rusty ass cart sneaking up behind you. Like she didn't even turn. She just walking like she didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear that dirty, rusty cart. You didn't hear the wheels coming up behind you. And it was I a dirt road like too, wasn't it? You didn't hear like the pebbles no, or anything? Okay. Show us when show us when you would have turned around, Shaq. Okay, I'm gonna show you turn around. Look. All right, you right here chilling. I'm going to turn around. Seen the moped yeah, right, right, go right. by. Look. <laughs> right there. Right there. Yeah. Because yeah. first, first of all, because first of all, you hear the moped, right? I'm in the street. I got to turn and see where you at. The see the moped go. Right there. Boom. Yeah. My man cross. Right, right. right. She got I got to turn AirPods around and see where you at. I hit them another look, moped. Look, look. <laughs> you think it's the moped turn right, right there. there. Yeah, yeah. She got yeah. on some noise canceling headphones, no, see, man. She ain't hearing nothing. That's all. I just, <laughs> man. I just, the and then, in the and, back of the and then, and then, Ooh. who's recording that? That looked like a surveillance camera. It did look like a surveillance camera. It did. It did. That's hey, all. But look, I, I just have. Have you ever ran into your mom back of the hill like that and, with the shopping cart? And got smacked <laughs> and got the taste yes. smacked out my face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I'm in there. Listen, because I'm in there messing around. And, you know, yeah, she looking at the grocery list, ragu, mayonnaise, <laughs> and you hit the back of that boy. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> oh, just man. looking at her. That'd be the yeah. worst. Like, Damn, mama. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And that another, was a good one. And another one was, and another one was when we go to church. Be quiet. Don't say nothing. So everybody, oh, ding, yeah. ding, you sitting around. You look at. <laughs> Pay attention. And my favorite was, we about to go to Nichelle Mama house. You know Nichelle Mama got that cake. When she asks you if you're hungry, your ass better say no. And then, you know, Nichelle Mama coming with that nice look. You want some cake, baby? He'd be like, no. No, you want some cake. <laughs> yeah. and, that cake, and that cake be looking good. <laughs> They're frosted coming off the Bang. side of it. You want some cake? And you looking at your mama, you're looking at Nichelle Mama. No, Miss Turner, no thank you. And your mom be like, not. Like, damn, I'm, I'm hungry. I want some cake. I think every week we should find some and then just talk about it. That's all. Okay. Well, Spice, you want to go she next? Did. or You want me to go next? I right, I'll go next. So okay. since we in Brazil, right? That's where that happened. That you said a Brazilian woman. It looked like it was in Brazil. This 16 pound baby was born in Brazil. Did y'all see this baby? This baby Ooh. is Ooh. like equivalent to a nine month old baby. Two feet uh, tall and 16 two- pounds. Two feet. I'm gonna tell you what happened. What? Daddy was in prison. No. Solitary Already confinement. wrong. Already no, wrong. No. Daddy was in prison in solitary confinement. And he was backed up, and when he saw Mama, oh my god, two seconds, he let that thing pop. <laughs> that's all that is. Sixteen pound baby. That's how you make babies, ain't it? So thank you. The ma- the man was locked up in solitary confinement. The man was in 23-hour lockdown, the man friend, and then his <laughs> wife, when she came, she had on a little skirt, looking all good, and both those that, and went back to the crib, and be blue. That's Shaq, how you have a 16-pound the, baby. The, the mom had diabetes. Oh, that's sorry. It. Uh, that was, that. See, I didn't, I, I was how much did it. y'all weigh? I was a big baby. I was 6'11". Weighed... Oh, boy. What were you, Spicy? I was 7'12". Oh, boy. Damn. Y'all guess how much I what weighed. Was, what were you? something? No more. What? what? I was nine pounds, 15 ounces. With the same forehead? Yeah, yeah, she no. I, I was gonna say Listen, my mama got in a fight with the nurse at the hospital because the nurse said that, that my little outfit wouldn't fit over my head. And my mama told her, if I could lift my leg right now, I'd kick you in your ass. Don't say my baby's head is big. Look at this. <laughs> Hold on, you got your birth certificate on your phone? You're a freak. No. Look at that. What the hell are you Spice? Seven twelve, dog. What else you got weird. over there, Spice? You got your DNA <laughs> test? Right. You got your more poverty card, too? My daddy is my daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. When you went into your kitchen and turned the lights on, did the roaches scatter? Oh, boy. Like a mug. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm, I was and, telling and, my kids that what? they don't understand. Like you gotta, you gotta turn the light on and let them like leave first before you enter because they was having a meeting. They was there first. My kids don't understand that. My bougie ass kids don't understand when you pour the cereal out and you see a roach come out the cereal. All the cereal on bad, just the roach he was on. You know, just the flake he was on. Yeah, you just you move take that, that flake one out, out the way and then you yeah. eat it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bougie kids these days, throw it away, throw it away. Oh my god, nope. Yeah, it's, oh, hey, no, it it's supposed to be Wheaties. You didn't look in there, it's raisin bran. You're like, oh, <laughs> 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 Maybe put some sugar on the road. <laughs> Y'all stupid. I lived in the country, so there was everything running around our house. Oh, so I was in the country. All right, let's talk about your video. Okay, show. so last clip. Here we go. Here's my here's my video. I just went to McDonald's and these f- handed me my sausage McMuffin and this bag. Well, what's in this bag? They're f- deposit. Why? Just a couple thousand dollars here. Like, what is this? Why would they do this? What the f-? So now I have to return this because I'm a good person. I guess. Yeah, how interesting. Okay, I'm at McDonald's. Why would you guys do this to me? You know how bad I want this money? Why put me in this situation? Nah, fam. <laughs> nope. Nah, it wouldn't you have been no video You go to the drive-thru at McDonald's to get your Shaquille, to get your chicken nuggets, your your Sprite, your, your Coca-Cola, your Pepsi, and your your fries, but instead mm. they hand you thousands of dollars, and you drive off, and you then you see. You got to return it. I'm gonna tell mm-hmm. you why. There's cameras in all those restaurants, so they're gonna know who got it. Eventually, they're gonna find it. It was a case. I hope, I hope you can find it. Somebody put five hundred thousand in the guy's bank account by accident. And he spent it. He just got arrested for that. So I think, I think it's it a, is a it's form a gift. of stealing. It's a gift. Yeah, I think it is a form of. I would have. I would have took it back, but I wouldn't. Have, I, but I wouldn't have recorded no video. Fam, I, I spent back. over a thousand dollars at McDonald's. I'm sure this is a gift to me for all the thousands yeah. I've spent yeah. at McDonald's. Yeah. I would say thank you. Uh, I would have kept it, and then if the cops came, I'm be like, I, I don't. I don't remember that. I remember going mm-hmm. there and getting some money. I don't remember no bag. Can you imagine that initial thing, though? You drive off. You reach in the bag, think about you about to get them hot fries. And you pull out all that money. That's happened to me before. No, oh, come on, man. I was in this expensive store in Beverly Hills. And I was in the like, little one of those dressing rooms. And I saw a wallet. It had a, about 10000 in it. But Was that when you found David Beckham's wallet? Was that David Beckham's? No. This was like oh. a this was like a different time, and I, I counted the money too. I was like, "Damn!" But then when I looked, and then the guy was looking at me, I was like, "Hey, man, tell the guy he dropped his wallet." And I watched her call him, and the guy came back and said, "Man, check, thanks, appreciate, it. just gave me that." But I mean, I think that you two, though, let me just say this: you two come from a little bit of a different mindset because you have money. Say you somebody who work in a regular I'm job, it's it. tough. I would take it back too, but I'm keeping it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, I'm so you're it. saying you would keep it? If if you yes. was that dude, you would have kept it. But you got to know that if let's just say it was thirty thousand, you got to know McDonald's going to do an investigation. Man, we right. must have like they're going to check all the workers. And they're going to say no. I, I think I, we gave it away. And then they they go to them cameras. Trust me, they're going to go to them cameras. They're going to go to them license plates. Well, they, when he took it back in there, it wasn't even no food in there. No, it was just, it was just their deposit. Yeah, that is true. It was their deposit. Like, Come on, that is man. true. They was waiting on somebody to come up in whatever car he was in, and they was going to give him that money. They gave him $200 as a reward. When he took it back in, they gave him $200 and free McDonald's for a month. Not bad. Man. Not bad. They could have gave it to that him for a year. That don't equal $1,000. Free McDonald's for a year. Because are you going to McDonald's every day for a month? If he's smart, he will. If, they, if I mean, that's smart, what I'm saying. They gave it to him for a month. Give it to him for at yeah. least a year. Like you oh, go to McDonald's yeah. once a week, so you get four free trips to McDonald's. Like no, give it to him for at least a year for bringing that back in. And after this segment, we're gonna have a vote to see who which which one had the best 
the best clip. So okay, I you want today. our you want our listeners? Yeah, oh, he said yeah. I won. <laughs> I All right, it's gonna be on next week, man. It's, Spice it's came in second, and Michelle, you were wah, 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 wah. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Well, then I guess we got to end on that. Wah, 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 wah. Thank you all so much for joining us once again on the big podcast with Shaq. Please like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and give us feedback. Let us know whose video you think won, whose video you want to talk about, because I want to hear from you all. And we'll see you next week on the big podcast with Shaq.